So if you remember back a few years ago, people were, you know, talking about Microsoft's Connect and they, they were privacy advocates who were really bashing it, saying that it was just too invasive for privacy. And if you're one of those privacy advocates, you're probably going to shit yourself at what Sony is developing. Now, this is one of those stories where it's cool because it's, it's like out of a futuristic movie, but it's also pretty damn scary. So, Sony has filed patents for a new contact lens that can zoom, it can focus, it can adjust aperture automatically, it records video, it stores it, and then is able to play it back all on the contact lens. So, it's sort of like Google Glass that fits on your eye instead of having to wear this big bulky pair of glasses that screams to everybody in the room, you know, hey, I might be recording you. Now somebody could actually be in a room recording you by simply looking at you and you would never know it. And you can wear just one contact lens. It can be switched on and off by simply closing your eyelids. It has built-in sensors that can detect the length of an eyelid closure so it can distinguish between whether or not you're blinking or if you're giving commands to the lens. And since it also detects blinks, it can automatically remove those black frames from the scenes if you're recording video. Uh, you can set up commands by using a cell phone or just by simply using the sensors on the contact lens. So there's the, the patent mentions being able to close your eyelid and for instance, you could press twice on your contact lens to give it a command. Or maybe if you're trying to be more discreet, you could you know rub your, your eye or something and it'll give some sort of command if you do it in a certain uh, pattern. So, I mean, this is like something really straight out of the movies. It's like a Mission Impossible uh, type scene. And this isn't the first smart contact lens that's been designed. Uh, Google has applied for patents, Samsung, uh, but I think Sony's is the first one that can actually store videos and pictures on the contact lens itself without the need for something like a smartphone. And of course, Sony is known for having some of the best cameras and image sensors in the world. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure if anybody can make a lens that's able to do this and do it good, I guess if you want to put it like that, then Sony is definitely the company that could do that. Uh, and you got to know that governments are already toying with this technology. I'm sure people in Tom's, you know, they would love to get their hands or I guess their eyes on it. But I can foresee definitely the future where one day where people are going in to surgery centers to sign up to become like the bionic man or the bionic woman. So uh, people go under the knife now, you know, to get bigger tits. Pretty soon you're going to be walking in and people are going to be wanting zoomed in lenses implanted in their eyes. They'll be able to run faster, have more strength with bionic limbs. They'll be connected to the internet and have wireless sensors, you know, implanted in their brains and their bodies, which again is already starting to happen. And I mean, man, it, it, it's crazy. You know, it, it's something that you would expect to read in a book or see in a sci-fi movie, but not something that you would actually expect to ever happen. But it's happening. Uh, and so when you think about what all these lenses could do, uh, just look back a few years ago whenever Google Glass was all the rave, you know. There were already apps designed for Google Glass so that you could walk up to somebody and the glasses, of course, have, you know, facial recognition. So it could look at you, pull up your photo, and then search the web and pull all kinds of information off from you. So it could look at Facebook, your LinkedIn profile. So you could have a stranger walk up to you and within, like, literally a blink of an eye, know more about you than you know about them simply because they're reading your profile while they're looking at you. I mean, it's crazy. So exciting, yet also pretty terrifying. Post below, do you think the smart lens technology is a good thing, or are you worried about it? That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.